hey guys good day welcome to my channel in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to convert the earth in avatar that's actually our third person controller provided by unity as through the standard asset as the standard assets okay so now you're going to convert the earth in avatar into any character you want you get of your choice now let's say you're making a game and okay you don't know the first step in programming a character but okay you just need things like you're jumping you're running moving left moving right your navigation okay good the other avatar has all that and trying to trying to copy the code again animating again gonna take a way way long time so we might to just change the other avatar's merge and the other avatar into a different character so i'm going to teach you how to do that today okay so first of all we're gonna to have to download the standard asset if you don't have it it's a i think yeah it's more than 120 mb i'm pretty sure of that so you just go under your asset store then you you search for standard assets you're gonna see it right away so now what we're gonna do next is that you're gonna duplicate your standard assets after importing it you're gonna go to characters third person character then you see animator animation animation animator materials model prefabs you click on prefabs then you see ai third person and third person you click on third person oh sorry that's an asset then you don't click on it you drag it okay sorry you drag it to the scene i made a mistake yeah so now i've dragged it to my scene so the next thing i'm going to do now the third person is actually the 18 avatar so and actually the 18 avatar has all the codes the programs then and actually the code hosts hosts the animations animators so the animation animations are already programmed in the code okay the programmed in the, yeah the code yeah so next we're gonna drag our our character into the scene so you're gonna decide where you get character from you can actually go down as a store and search for characters then you can see beautiful characters and you download the ones you want but i actually went on a mixamo mixamo also has cool characters i'm gonna leave a link in the description below so i have my character that was sophia so i'm gonna drag her into the scene well you can actually see my third person now because this material i made it like he had it's not just um a, it's not just a, a, a flat ground he has a rugged topography um how that was yeah he's he has different slopes he has it's the steep slopes he has the just different let's just keep it like that so what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna increase on the y-axis the position of my third person character to 23 then move it forward to 3 so now we can see it right over here then the character we just brought in oh sorry the character we brought in um sophie we're gonna increase it to the same position 23 3 now what we just discovered is that our sophie as a character we are working with is way way bigger than the Ethan Ethan Avatar. So what are we gonna do about that? We can just leave it like we can actually leave it like this. But anyway, so you start adjusting the colliders, but we don't have time for that. So let's just go straight to our work. We're gonna use the scale tool to reduce the Sophie character. Go go go. Good. Okay. So now let's. So what we're gonna do next is gonna say. 23 again let's see no 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 we went way way below so we'll go up again so you take it back to 23 okay i prefer that this is better so now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna say we're gonna unpack the two prefabs we we'll unpack this one and we're gonna unpack this one too so now what we're gonna do next we're gonna say since we are, like I said before, the third person controller has the code and animation for the Ethan avatar. So we're gonna delete the Ethan's body. We're gonna delete his glasses. And we're gonna delete his skeleton. Then we're gonna drag the Sophie idol into the third person controller. Okay, so now we're gonna click the third person controller, and now you're gonna see that. 
the eighteen left two has been deleted. Everything about the eighteen, you see all the transform of the eighteen has been deleted. So now what you're gonna do next? You're gonna add the Sophie avatar in place of you're gonna change the earth avatar to the Sophie avatar. But right now, my Sophie got no avatar. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna click on Sophie, then rig, then animation type. You see generic. You click on it and change it to humanoid. Then you apply. So you're gonna wait for it to import. Once that done, once that once that's done, you're gonna open your Sophie and you're gonna see the avatar. Good. So now you go click your third person controller, then drag in your Sophie idol. Good. Now you see all those deleted about this um warning. They are they are they have all left. So now we're gonna test our character now to see how he works. So game scene our camera is way way high but let's still watch it from here let's see but i'm still gonna bring it closer but i'm just gonna watch from a distance a little bit just wait for a little while it's gonna load and so we're gonna wait okay got it now watch this you see our character is moving well, we actually have to program this character. Yeah, we have it moving. We have it working. We have it running. Do you know, we are too, f we are too fast, so we don't actually see it clearly. So, maybe I'm gonna move our camera. Let me adjust the camera to the... Okay, so we'll take our camera. We're gonna bring it down to 25. Then move it to one, to close. Three, sorry, minus three. No, too far. Then my two minus. Then change to fifteen. Then thirty. No, twenty. Okay, and minus zero point five. Okay, zero. okay, I think this is better. Then we're gonna drag our camera into the third person controller. Why are we gonna do this? Almost most people might ask that. What we're gonna do now? Why we drag the main camera into the third person controller? Because when you drag the main camera into the third person controller, it makes the main camera to follow the third person co the, the third person controller everywhere it goes. So now we're gonna try that now. I'm also gonna give you guys a maybe free free look down around my scene. So I'm gonna let the car character run. So let's watch him. Watch her. Sorry. Now let's go. So she's running. You see, she's moving. And my camera is for her. Uh, so I'm gonna go left because I'm tired of this jungle. I actually need to leave the jungle because it's actually a very beautiful terrain, beautiful track. There's a lot of beautiful things in it. So we're just gonna show you around, but I'm not gonna take you all the way around. We're just gonna show you a little part of it, then we end the tutorial. So we're just gonna show you that it works perfectly. You can just make it walk, run, jump. It has all the features Earth Avatar has. It just is running too too slow. As you can see, so we just wait. For it.